But you don't like to grade. Well, I don't. I think grading is a form of, of I think grading is degrading. And, you call uh, it uh, fear-based learning. Fear-based. Homework is fear-based learning, and, and grades are, and um, uh, Socrates, the great teacher, never gave grades, never gave homework, nor did Maria, uh, nor did Maria Montessori. So does the American education system know more than Socrates and Montessori? I don't think so. So I, but I have to do it with college. I got into trouble one time at Catholic University. I was teaching a class, and I walk in the first day. Is anybody here just to get an A? If you are, raise your hand and tell me. I'm here just to get an A, and I promise you, you can leave right now, and I'll turn an A for you at the end of the semester. So they, were, oh my God, what's the catch? There's no catch, I said. So one boy put his hand up. He said, Professor, I'm here just to get that A. Here's my name. And he left the room. Never came back. <laughs> so word spread. Here's a prof <clears throat> handing out A's like, like flowers in the springtime. <laughs> so the deans didn't like it. They didn't invite me back. And, and so the boy went on. To, uh, uh, but I never saw him again. But this boy in the book was in the class. And, and he stayed, and he learned something, and he, he now runs a shelter for homeless people. His name is Ryan Heyman, and right here in Washington, over in the southeast. He was in the class. And so, but the grades, it, it so worries the students. And I tell them, take a look at the obituary page in the Times and the Post. You will never see an obituary that says, John Smith, comma, <laughs> who had a 2.9 average in college. Oh, died right. yesterday, <laughs> and I defied ever for that. Go find somebody who sat in their deathbed and, and said, I wish I'd made more A's in college. Well, it's <laughs> also, also the parents' pressure, and you oh. have a great letter in here where the mother calls you to say, how's my daughter doing in class? And you said, ask your daughter. I said, <laughs> how would she... I know? I'm a teacher. <laughs> right. What? What, she said? <laughs> Just ask your daughter, she'll tell you, okay? Uh, but they want to get them into the ivies and the little ivies. I said, send them off of the poison ivies. It doesn't make any difference. <laughs> it doesn't make a difference. Well, but you know, it does make a difference in terms of the students these days getting out of school with so much debt. Yeah, you're that right. That they're so, uh, they're on this track that they have to get high paying jobs. Yeah. And a lot of it's times awful. getting that high paid job depends sure, on sure. what college you went to, how you did there. Yeah. The, the plus what you majored in yeah. and, and they see a decrease in you know, philosophy majors, the humanities are going down, the engineering. Now Obama's pushing STEM, I think, science, technology, engineering, and math. Uh, so what do you advise people who say, look, I'm coming out of school with $100,000 in debt. <laughs> I want to do something good for the world, what can I do? Well, you, the first thing you do, you can marry up, uh, <laughs> if that's possible. Uh, it's a tough thing, but I think, I think at Georgetown Law, they, they will excuse much of the debt if you do public interest law, I think. I think a lot of law schools are doing that. And I think some of the colleges also. And so, uh, but it, the, it is. We've ruined the economy fighting, fighting all these wars. We've been fighting uh, these Iran and Iraq, uh, two wars that can't be won, can't be explained, and can't be afforded. And the children in school are victimized by that. 